Alright, cool. I'm just going to click on another video. And, uh, let's go back to the list. Yeah, um, this is still weird to me. I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know who you are. Um, this is effective stuff. And, uh, I can see, I, I thought about that, I thought about why he drank so much. I definitely imagine that, uh, you know, he pushed a lot of people's buttons and he wasn't afraid to do it. He did what needed to be done to challenge people. And I mean, he, you know, he left a good family behind. He, uh... I'm glad. I'm glad that he had a family. I know a lot of us. Um, I, I don't know. I can. I can kind of. I'll just speak for myself. Um, I've always thought that I needed to have a certain amount of uh, of money before I could have children. Um, I know that that makes sense, but um, in a way, it, it doesn't. It really doesn't. Um, it shouldn't cost money to reproduce. I, I disagree. I, uh, I don't know. It's hard to explain. I could, I could make a dozen videos, maybe a hundred videos, and try to explain it. Um, but I have never been a fan of money. I, I've never been a fan of, uh, working for people who you didn't want to work for. Um, doing things that you don't want to do just to make money. I mean, for those of you who are who are doing jobs that you enjoy and that you feel are genuinely rewarding because you're doing them to better um, better society and not just kind of uh, you know convincing yourself that working at Walmart is necessary. You know, and that it's important, and that that's important, because that's not, that is not, um, but I mean, for those of you who are working, um, I don't know, um, if you're a mechanic, and you fix things for people, that's, that's important, that's valuable, um, you know, if you're, uh, I doubt, Many of you are scientists. I, I would hope, you know, a, a lot of the people that see this are uh, in in some field of science. Um, a few of you, maybe. But, you know, that, the search to understand what, uh, what this is, what life is, what life is, if you're in biology or chemistry, I mean, what, uh, you know, the nature of matter is, or if you're in physics, um, energy, um, if you're in engineering, you know, mechanics and, and how things work and making things efficient um, so that you, you and everybody who is involved in the project of making something happen, you know, like building a bridge or um, just constructing something, um, to make it as efficient a process as possible. Um, you know, so that the least amount of energy is uh, used up in the process. Um, not that I'm a, a fan of people not getting a good workout. Um, you know, that's, that's a good thing, but, um, but, it's just, there's so much, there's so much to this, to life, and to, to understanding, to, to doing things, and labor, and, uh, and the economy and all that shit. And I know Christopher was all about, you know, 
he was uh, for the invasion, essentially, of Iraq. And, uh, you know, I can see the pros and cons of that, just as I can just about anything. Every, every subject that I've ever argued with anyone, um, don't think I can't see the pros and cons of it. You know, a lot of people that I talk to say, you, you don't understand. No, I, I understand your side. I'm just taking the opposite side. Um, just to see how much you understand your side. And maybe I don't, I don't fully understand. Um, your reasoning. Um, you know, like I get in a lot of arguments with, uh, Christians or, or religious people or, um, even people that call themselves Republican and accuse me of being a liberal. Um, as if, as if that's a bad thing. I, I don't understand, uh, what, you know, what's bad about either side. I don't know. Or, uh, or any, any side, any perspective. I see the good and the bad. You know? But there, there are things that are not good for the whole. You know, for the earth. And, uh, for life. That's the really, that's the most important thing to me. It's life. The life in the universe. It's, it's a part. We are the universe. That's the thing I've been saying for five years or so. Um, I am the universe. And so are you. We are separate conscience or uh, separate beings, but we're still the same universe. We're the same planet. We're the same species. We're the same beings. And I, and I think it's important for everybody to realize that so that we can all get along, at least on that level. You know, having a disagreement is one thing, but killing people because they don't believe the way we do is wrong. You know. But I you know, again I every time I make a point I see the, the counter side and uh you know I could even I could eat, could argue that Life is, uh, you know, to an extent, and this is terrible to say, and uh, anybody can hold this against me for a long time, but to an extent, life is expendable. And, and that's the truth. We do die. You know, if, um, if a billion people were born every day, and a billion people died every day, and there were a hundred billion people, um, you know, and people only lived for a hundred days, um, that's when we would realize just how expendable life is. Um, I know there's some, some organisms that live very short periods of time, hours, days, um, you know, and then there's organisms like us, beings like us that live, you know, decades, tens of years, maybe a hundred years, if we're lucky, or, uh, you know, maybe if you're watching this, uh, in the future, you know, if I'm, if I'm that lucky, um, maybe you're 150, you know, maybe people live to be 200 or 300 or, uh, or more, maybe people don't die. I definitely thought about that, and considered that, and I, I'll be honest, I don't, I don't see a reason why we should die. Um, I think that we have, we're there, we're, we have the ability 
to prolong human life. And the number one thing stopping that is uh, essentially money being put into stem cell research. So it's the, the financial system in the religious organizations that are both standing in our way of essentially immortality. Yeah. Um, and if you don't know much about stem cell research, I mean, essentially, uh, the way that I see it is that, uh, you know, they're like blank cells. All the cells in our body are, um, the way that they are, they're in the positions they're in, you know, for the reasons, um, when we're born. Here's the part I don't fully understand, but, um... Essentially, our, our genes um, the code kind of um, writes out what's what in the process. Certain things are stimulated in certain ways, and certain parts are stimulated in others. And that's where we get the bones and the skin and the, each internal organ and our brain cells. Every cell, you know, gradually, based on, based mostly, I believe, on, on its, essentially its neighbors, what its neighbors are becoming. You know, and it all kind of fits together. You know, yeah, it's very complicated. I am not, uh, I am not a genetic scientist. I don't fully understand genes. Um, but everything I've looked into as far as genes go, it makes sense so far. And stem cells are like blanks, blank slates, um, and they can be formed into uh, whatever is needed. You just kind of put them in that region, and eventually the other cells stimulate those. I guess maybe it needs a little bit of a maybe an electrical impulse, but um, you know it's like a repair mechanism. It's like uh, white blood cells and scabs and stuff. If that makes sense, maybe maybe if some of you know um, a little bit more about genes and, and stem cells and things, you could explain it to me. Or maybe I'm sure in the course of my life I'll find out one way or the other. If I'm not told, I'll find the answer.